Hey guys, welcome to the Punky Bourbon Bar. It is Thirsty Thursday. Today we are going to be featuring another gift to the Punky Bourbon Bar by the Wendell family. This time it's from Zach Wendell. We received a bottle of Whistle Pig Single Barrel Rye Whiskey, 10 years aged. So um, I'd like to thank Zach for this bottle. And then his dad, Dean, provided the uh, Blanton's uh, a couple weeks ago. Both are single barrels. This is a single barrel rye, so let's kind of give it a little taste of whether this is going to feature in the old fashioned, which is going to be the drink of the evening. So let's set this bad boy over here and have a little sample of the single barrel. So with my nose, and you know I have a big nose, um, I'm getting cherry and vanilla. The first thing that comes across on uh, for the nose of the cocktail. And then as far as the palate goes, let's figure out what it is. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. That's a spicy meatball. That is a spicy, spicy whiskey. It's really good though. Definitely be able to keep me warm in the winter. So with this, I do a lot of spice. Pepper, <clears throat> and then the O comes through on the on the uh, palate. Not so much the nose, but the palate. So, Zach, thank you very much, and let's get the cocktail made. <clears throat> so, with as spicy as the whiskey is, I'm going to go with brown sugar, and then out of my bitter barrel. I'm gonna go with a cherry bark vanilla to kind of offset the flavors within the within the whiskey. So uh, we're gonna put this in with the brown sugar. So let's get the uh, cocktail started. And of course, in the background we have our favorite Celtic band and the theme song for the Blinky Burn Bar, Nancy Whiskey. Celtic Strum again, thank you for allowing me to use the song with the bourbon bar. So I'm just gonna dump this in, and then we'll do two, one, two, and then a teaspoon of water. So we're gonna get a teaspoon of water in here. Perfect. And then we're going to mix this together until everything dissolves. So, very excited about the uh, new bourbon bar menu for the winter. And uh, Deborah and I have been working on that and talking about it occasionally. So we're going to have, of course, the Rick Punky Manhattan, the winter version, which is with the Red Stag um, Jim Beam. And then we're going to offer uh, the uh, Pure Gold, which is the cocktail made with Tullamore Dio Irish Whiskey, Fever Tree Ginger Ale, and um, Lime Wedge, served in a tall, tight Collins glass. So the sugar's dissolved in the water, the bitters are in there, a teaspoon of water. So let's drop the cube in and get the cocktail made. So we're going to use a big cube. In here and drop that in. And then the whistle pig. Loving this. on the place of honor, on the single barrel aisle. So we did a fall cleaning of the Punky Bourbon Bar and uh, we are definitely ready for company. And uh, you know the company rule, you call from the driveway, you text me, you're on your way over, we'll have a drink. That's how we roll. Um, some of you have the garage code. <laughs> Which could be scary if we're away on vacation. So uh, let's drop my um, Favorite cherries in the world, filthy cherries. 
Now, you'll have arguments from bartenders all over the United States. Some prefer the uh, Angostura um, liqueur black cherries. I prefer the uh, filthy black cherries, um, and it's all due to cost. So, um, the uh, Italian liqueur cherries, the Luxardo, are a bit more pricey, so I went with the uh, filthy cherries, which I find are a lot, um, actually, a lot nicer. So now we will finish it off with the uh, lemon peel. Excuse me, I did it again. Orange peel because I'm colorblind, and, oh yeah, nice peel, we'll uh, push the oils from the peel into the cocktail over the ice cube, just like that, roll it over, oh yeah, roll it over, you can see the oils on top of the cocktail there, give it a quick stir, and we are set to drink. So the drink of the evening is the Old Fashioned with the Whistle Pig Rye Whiskey Single Barrel Age 10 Years. That's definitely a mouthful and uh, I'm gonna have a mouthful of this right now to try it out. So let's see how this goes. Oh. Um, the bitter choice was a good choice. The cherry vanilla and the bitters I can taste. The spiciness of this whistle pig is amazing. I love it. And um, definitely going to be a sipping cocktail. So tonight, the uh, old fashioned with the whistle pig rye. So uh, guys, it's been a weird couple weeks. A weird summer we're getting into the fall and it's football season so uh, I'm glad and proud to say the Ohio State Buckeyes will be taking the field this weekend against Nebraska and they are favored by 21 and uh, I look forward to watching them on the weekends when available and when I can and I'm just glad that this is one more step forward to getting back to some normalcy so uh, we will see you guys often uh, next Thursday, and uh, hopefully that the uh, establishments are opening up slowly but surely here in North Carolina. We will get back to uh, being able to go out and uh, visit some of the favorite uh, establishments other than the favorite bar in Wake Forest, the Punky Bourbon Bar. So guys, have a great evening. I'm going to go burn a steak right now on the grill, waiting for my wife to come home. So cheers. Have a great night. That's awesome.